debate that's grown in popularity really over the last four years is Von Miller versus Khalil Mack, two guys that have played in an elite level, elite pass rushing talents. And before you give me your pick, I want to bring up Khalil Mack in the last four years has earned 90 plus overall grades, great pass rusher, and that went from his time in Oakland and this past year with the Chicago Bears. What exactly makes him so good? He, I mean, he's a phenomenal player. We're looking at a guy who started off his career, hit the ground running as a run defender, was elite from day one as a run defender, but has emerged as this real rival to Von Miller as a true pass rusher. He's developed that part of his game. He's become pretty much as good as Von Miller as a pure edge rushing talent. And in the last few years, he added the final missing component, which is those big plays, the impact plays, not just getting there and getting sacks, but forcing fumbles, but making those game-changing sort of turnovers, interceptions, that kind of thing, that actually swing games in your favor rather than just add to your pass rushing stats. So I think we've seen the development in his career from being you know, a very good player right out of the gate to becoming a complete player and then a dominant force. Going to the Von Miller side of things, another great player right out of the gate. He has earned a 90.0 plus overall grade every year of his career. That's eight years. I think you could honestly say he's gonna go down as one of the most productive edge defenders in the PFF era. Yeah, he absolutely will. There's nobody that generates pressure at the same kind of rate that Von Miller does over the course of his entire career. J.J. Watt was there for a couple of years. Aaron Donald has been there since he's emerged as the best defender in the NFL. But since Von Miller came into the league, he has the most pressure of anybody, averages a staggering amount of total pressure, and is, I think, really the best proven, consistent, pure edge rusher in the league. Looking at three-year grades, Khalil Mack beats out Von Miller 90.7 to 90.3. Looking at this past year, Khalil Mack beats him out in war, wins above replacement 0.79 to 0.66. It's kind of a changing of the guard. It looks like maybe Khalil Mack is taking his game to the next level as he approaches the prime of his career, while Von Miller, now 30 years old, may be trending down. Is that what you think? I don't know if he's trending down or if he's just uh, hasn't been quite at his very peak for a couple of seasons now. We haven't seen the very, very best of Von Miller for a while now. But the bottom line is the war, the PFF war, the wins above replacement, that's what starts folding in value into this quality play. And last year, you're seeing the impact of those game-changing turnover type plays. We had six forced fumbles for Khalil Mack. We had an interception. And this is a season where he missed some time injured was still able to basically surpass Von Miller because of those big impact plays. But we've seen Von Miller do those before. We've seen him do it in Super Bowls before. We've seen Von Miller at that level. I think he can get there, but right now you would lean with Khalil Mack because of what we've seen in recent seasons. And that's why he edges him out slightly in our list of the 50 best players in the NFL entering the 2019 season. We've got Khalil Mack up at number eight overall, and we've got Von Miller at number 11 overall. There's not much between them, but the edge just going to Khalil Mack now. There you have it. You have him at eight, Von Miller at 11, both still elite talents. And you can go ahead and check out all of their advanced grades and stats and premium stats 2.0 as an elite subscriber on ProFootballFocus.com.